What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today, we're finally gonna get this thing, I'm not gonna say fixed, it's not really broke, but we're finally going to get the, hopefully this works, uh, the tires recalibrated, or tires, I did say tires, the truck uh, speedometer recalibrated so that, number one, this thing shifts, starts shifting proper, because I notice, I'm not gonna say it's been shifting wrong, but I know, I noticed the spots where it has been shifting it's a little weird, and I don't know if it's because of the bigger, bigger tires or because of the speedometer is off. So we have a device. Uh, the Napa store just called me. It has arrived. We're going to go right now, pick it up. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, uh, number one, because I don't know if it's going to work, so I don't want to advertise this product, and then you guys go purchase it, waste your money on it, and let me know, hey, Eddie, this thing doesn't even freaking work for the 19 Rams, because that's what we're doing, 19 Ram 3500. So uh, let's go, on, uh, let's go uh, over, pick it up, and go try it out. All right, guys, the device has arrived. Now, obviously you see the name there, but I'm not going to say it works yet because I have not tried it. Once I actually put it in the truck and install, I'll let you guys know, hey, it's working. And yes, I know you see this. Uh, I'm just testing stuff, tunes out for you guys. So no, I didn't change companies. I didn't do anything different. I'm still using Matt at Optimal Welding. You guys asked me who tunes this. Matt at Optimal Welding. If you guys want his tune, email him at OptimalWelding at gmail.com and he will send you uh, tune files. What we're just doing here is we're, uh, we tried something, it didn't work, so now we're just going back to the original file. That's it. If something new comes out, you guys know I will let you know right away. And for exhaust, you guys are going to DM, uh, it's going to be Raj, R-A-J, K-A-L-K-A-T and he will hook you guys up with your exhaust needs. And yes guys, I have flashed this truck a lot. So you see all these BBX files right here? This is how many times I flash a truck. Now, not due to problems, just trying stuff. Uh, stuff that didn't work, stuff that did work, stuff where we felt we can get a little more, more power out of it. Uh, other stuff where we said, eh, that's kind of pushing it, we don't want that. But all of Matt's tunes are extremely safe. That's what he focuses on is making a safe tune for you guys. Okay guys, so it looks like this is uh, what you're gonna need. This is the what comes in the box. You got here your power source. Now this is going to, I would assume, this is probably gonna go in one of those junction uh, blocks under the truck. So let's go uh, start this and hopefully uh, get this thing uh, fixed up and get the speed proper. Okay guys, so that cigarette lighter right there does not have power with the truck being off. So I would not recommend putting it in that one. Uh, does this thing even have another one? I don't know. We're going to have to uh, search here and look. All right, we got our flashlight. Cannot find a cigarette, cigarette lighter that has constant power. I think this truck only has one up there. Uh, so we'll, I don't know, I guess we're going to just try it out and see if it works, but we got to get under here. Uh, I'm going to plug this in and then I will uh, show you guys with the camera where I plugged it in. All right, guys, let me see if I can show you this. All right, guys, so I plugged this in right, let me get the light for you. So see how there's three green blocks? The very left block, the very bottom, that's where I plugged it in. Uh, is that the right spot? Is it going to work? I don't know, but we're going to find out right now. All right, guys, it's been pretty easy. Uh, oh, successfully programmed. So all I did, I mean, go through the steps. Just hit yes, no, yes, no, and it'll tell you uh, turn ignition off. Okay. And make sure you guys drive it. Start it first. So uh, you know that, you know, you don't have no issues and no lights come on. And I'm going to use, be using an app on my phone to monitor uh, to make sure the speed is proper. So we're gonna be using right here, I just downloaded it, speedometer right here. We're in the garage, so that's probably why it's not picking nothing up uh, to make sure it's on good. Okay guys, well after getting on the freeway, figured out it is wrong, not correct. Uh, but notice instead of it being off by about five, six miles an hour, it is now off by about, uh, I think it was like three to four. So I would assume uh, that this tire, I'm gonna get a tape measure. I assume that it's probably not gonna measure it out of 37 inches, even though it says 37. And then also um, that, so in the directions that I read, it has to have constant power. Well, since these Ram don't have a cigarette lighter that has constant power, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try one of those USB ports 
and go from there. Be surprised. Uh, I would assume 37, but uh, apparently not. Okay, we're on the ground. It is well, it's not 37. It's a it's a 30 yeah, 35 and a half. I want to say 30 36. So uh, that's gonna be a problem. So let's get rid of it because I put 37, put 36. And try it again. Okay, guys, we got this plugged back under there into the block. We have this part now plugged into the USB right there. Now, it's been saying starting, 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 starting for a while now. So what that's telling me, this thing probably does not have enough power. So we're going to try the uh, USB on the left and see if that changes because it's been saying starting for a while now. And that's not normal. All right, so look at this. When I put, when I put it in number two, USB just says starting system, nothing happens. If I put it in number two, it just says starting and nothing happens. Now in the back, if you put it, and remember in the back, you got two USB ports. Let me show you here. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, the same on all of them, but if you put it in number three, they are all numbered. See here, it just says starting, starting, nothing happens. But now put it in number four right here and watch. Starting, now it's the starting system. Please wait. Speedometer calibration. So it looks like for you guys to do this, and again, I'm talking on the 19 RAM, your only option is to put it in USB number four back here because this thing has to have constant power even when you turn your vehicle off. So for you guys that purchase this, remember to put it in USB number four in the back. That's the only one that has enough power to get this thing to turn on without the ignition being on. Why Hypertech doesn't put this in their directions, I don't know. So now we're gonna try this again. Do not start, just turn in the on position, yes. Communicating with vehicle, that will be this plug right here. If that's not plugged in properly, it won't uh, communicate. Okay, we're getting on the freeway now. We're going to see uh, now how the speedometer is and shifting and all that. So far, good. So it is at 72 right now. And let's see uh, what my thing here says. Oh, she said 70 and 70. I think uh, this might have fixed our issue here, guys. All right, we're gonna go to 75 now. It's on pretty, uh, pretty dang close. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you know how accurate the phone is either. But I gotta say, I mean, 74, 75, one mile an hour off. I'm good with that. Now we're gonna take it up to 80 and see uh, what that, uh, if that you know, is off by a lot or not. 80 miles an hour. Looks like I gotta say, one miles an hour. I'm good, guys. I think so. If you guys got a 37 inch Toyo uh, 37 13 50 20, set it to uh, 36 because if you set it to 37, it's not gonna work. I set it to a 36 inch tire and now it does work. And this is going from 79. 280 so I don't know uh, I don't know I don't know I'm good with this guys I'm happy speedometer is on so I will give it to Hypertech uh, this fixed my truck thank you it's much better now and once we get uh, back into the garage I'll show you guys the part number uh, that I got a lot of you guys are saying Hypertech does not make one probably because yes if you do go on their website when I go Ram 3500 you're right it doesn't pull up one but, I mean, I don't know, this one works, so Hypertech, you need to update your website because this does work. If you guys are interested, give them a call. Let them know that Eddie's Life sent you. They'll hook you up. And, uh, you know, for you guys that have a 19 Ram, 3500 or 2500, uh, this will work. And I think it said it also works on Jeeps, the JLs. Now, here is the box. And, no, Hypertech did not pay me. This is not sponsored. I had to pay for this full pop. 
So, it, you know, don't think I'm uh, advertising for them. I'm just trying to help you guys out. So uh, here is, this is not gonna help you. Okay, here we go. This part right here should help you. Uh, let that focus. Okay, so this is the part number you guys need. Part number 752504. All right, 752504, that's what you need, guys. So it says here, Ram Trucks and Jeep JL, 18 to 19. Uh, but it will work on a 2500 and we'll also use this on big loose truck because he's putting 37s on his also now one problem for california people is they will not ship this to california i know it's ridiculous it is stupid uh you know i i don't i don't see why it's not a tuner it's not a program well you could say, yeah, it's programming, but it's just programming your tire size, basically. So I don't understand why they wouldn't ship it to California, but for you California people, I am sorry. And me talking like 40 California people, yes, I am in California. Um, if you guys have access to, you know, anywhere else, uh, I would ship it there. And then, you know, uh, you can bring it here. I don't, again, I don't, I don't see the reason why. And, and check this out, too. On the box, it also says on this box that it is 50 state uh, legal when I read it. Yeah, 50 state street legal, look at this. So if you guys, you know, uh, wanna ask them, well, hey, you can't ship to California, then why does your box say 50 state, you know, street legal? And be careful, yes, uh, this box can cause cancer. Jeez, really, everything causes cancer now. So there you have it guys, I hope I helped you a little bit on figuring out, you know, and letting you guys know, yes, there is finally a company out there that does offer it. And it was honestly fairly easy. If you guys are still confused because uh, the Hypertext directions are a little, eh, they're, they're okay, they're not that well. Uh, but you can DM me on my Instagram, at Eddie's Life, and I will try to help you guys as much as I can. Uh, sometimes, just give me some time, I know it might take a while, but uh, just DM me and I, I will look for it. I've been answering my DMs uh, a lot better now uh, because I actually, I'm not gonna say hired somebody, but I got someone to help me a little bit with the social media part as in YouTube, editing, uh, stuff like that, so I can respond to your guys' DMs much faster. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.